morning, West Rutland, please rise to the Pledge of Allegiance, led by National Honor Society members Ryan Skaza, Grayson Skaza, and Emily Chippenair. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, I'm Missy Griffith. And I'm Brady Travers. And this is Westside Daily with your morning announcements. This Friday, we have a half day. Next week on the 8th, there is a career cafe for grades 9 through 11. This will focus on business and marketing. It will be a cafe style setup with guests having a table for their items. There will be two 55 minute rounds, each comprising around 27 students. The format will be 25 to 30 minutes of guests presenting themselves to the entire group followed by 25 to 30 minutes of students circulating to tables for more informational discussions and Q&A. Everyone will be required to visit every table. The first group will be called down 15 minutes into Block 3, and the second group will be called down during the beginning of Block 4. A more specific schedule will be coming soon. In other news, here's a fourth grader, Logan, who was able to split a clementine peel exactly in half. Great job, Logan. West Rutland K-12 Winter Carnival is on December 7th at 6 p.m. The 7th and 8th grade holiday fundraiser is still going on. If you're interested in purchasing something, find a middle schooler to help you out. Now the Carmel Sports. All basketball teams begin practice starting today. Girls and boys JV and varsity first practice is from 8 to 4 p.m. 7th and 8th grade boys and girls will practice from 4 to 5.15. Then the girls JV and varsity will return for their later practice from 5.30 to 7. The boys JV and varsity's second practice is from 7 to 8.30. Allie Mitchell is looking for volunteers from 8.15 to 8.30 on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays in the weight room. We would like to congratulate two football players from West Rutland who were honored for their work on the Pulteney football team. Clayton Kessup made second team All-State at linebacker and tight end. Also, Charlie Duncan was an honorable mention for offensive linemen. Congratulations to you both. That's it for sports. Back to you, Izzy and Brady. Thanks, Carmen. Today's lunch is French toast sticks with tater tots, orange slices, and sausage patties. Today is National French Toast Day. Now to Elijah with our special news. This Saturday, December 3rd, the high school chorus will be singing at 5.30 for the tree lighting at the town hall. We hope to see you all there. Seniors, don't forget that you are helping to decorate the town hall on December 1st. If you have someone in mind for our interview, make sure you put in your votes in the box in the lobby. Before break, Miss Tooley's fourth grade class had a book tasting. There were snacks and refreshments there, and the kids could choose five books out of the seven or eight they were offered. They sampled the books, then wrote down the author, title, and genre. Then they rated them in a pamphlet to help them decide which books they were most interested in. <laughs> it looks like they had a great time. That's all for you. Uh, that's all for special news. Back to you, Izzy and Brady. Thanks, Elijah. Now for the joke of the day. Why was the French toast spoiled? I don't know. Because they used sourdough. <laughs> Reminder that as we approach December, there will be snow. All elementary students must bring snow gear. Our jazz band played at the Galactic Toy Drop before break. The Galactic Toy Drop is a program to gather toys for families in need during the holiday season. We will have photos and videos for you to check out at the end of the announcements. We don't have any birthdays today. Thanks for watching. This is Izzy Griffith and Brady Travers signing off. And as Mr. Slanker would say, have, have a, a great, great day, day of learning. learning.